So I have become absolutely obsessed with getting some video of a frogfish, but not just any video. I want to try to capture the frogfish swimming, but even more so, I want to see the little jets under their pectoral fins in action. Now it's a pretty tall order, but we've seen some amazing photos and videos on Facebook and Instagram lately uh, from local divers here on St. Croix that have come back with some just incredible images of the frogfish right here under the Frederickstead Pier. But again, I wanted to see them in action. I wanted to see them moving. But when I set this challenge for myself, I really didn't realize what a tall order it would be. In fact, it took me six dives over the course of five days to finally capture the images I was looking for. But let's head under the water here and take a look at day one. So dive number one was incredible. We saw a ton of amazing sea life. And in fact, right off the bat, we saw this little yellow seahorse. He was just perched on some sponge and with him was this sharp nose puffer that was barely a fraction of the size of his head. Now it was a cool moment for sure. And these guys looked to be the best of pals, but they weren't the frogfish that we were looking for. So we continued swimming on down the pier, following the directions that we got from other local divers to where the frogfish were hanging out. And after searching for a little bit, we found this bright yellow frogfish that's about the size of your fist perched on top of this rock near some sponge. I was determined to capture his video and capture him moving, but he's an ambush predator and he's a member of the anglerfish family. So his main job is to sit and wait for food to come by. Every now and again, he might try to attract a little bit of food with the lure that is off the top of his head, but He's really skilled at sitting and waiting. And he definitely outweighed me because I was getting low on air and it was time to head back. So day one, found him, success, got some images, but not the ones we're looking for. So day two, we head out there again, this time at night. And I brought two cameras, a GoPro so we can get some wide angle shots and our primary camera, the Panasonic GH5S with a macro lens on it for some close up video. We were able to swim out there, find the yellow frogfish again, still perched on the same rock where we left it and set up and waited for it to move. But it never really did. So we ran out of air and had to call our dive and head back. We didn't get the footage that we were looking for, but in reviewing it, what we didn't see at the time of the dive was that there's actually two frogfish there. There's a little black one underneath the yellow one, presumably the male with the larger yellow one being the female. You can guess what's going on here, but we didn't even see that little black one under there. But on our way back at the end of the dive, we actually had a bonus. There was a little tiny octopus and with our GoPro, with our wide angle and our macro lens on our primary camera, we were able to capture some really neat footage of this octopus kind of burrowing itself underneath a rock. Amazing, absolutely amazing. But we're still after our frogfish swimming. So on to day three. So day three, we head out there again and she's moved, she's in a new spot, but oh wait, 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 is she walking? No, nope, just being pushed by the current. So close, so close, but whoa, what was that? The lure, holy cow, lightning fast. We gotta slow that down, let's see it in slow motion. That is, that is awesome. That is totally cool. If we can't get her swimming, let's see if we can get some action here walking. And she does. She's moving slowly. There's this little bicolored damselfish down here, flicking her with its tail, trying to say, get out of my space. I don't think the damselfish wants her there at all. So she's, she's on the move. This is fantastic. We are getting finally, three days in, some actual action. This is incredible. Not very graceful. Falling over, tripping over leaping up onto the rock. Oh, that was cool. That was definitely cool. What a good leap, but not swimming. Let's go to day four. 
So we're back out in our spot, and we're looking around for the yellow one, but he's nowhere to be found. But on this rock is that tiny little black one, and he's walking, which is super cool. We also brought the macro lens so we can really zoom in there and take a look at the detail of his face and his eyes, and he is incredible. Love this little guy. But as I'm looking for the yellow one around there, I'm shocked when I find a third one. There's a little blue one down here on this little sponge and he looks exactly like the sponge. It's incredible how well he blends into the environment. At one point he slowly starts to move and that's kind of an understatement. He is moving so slow. It's crazy. There's a tiny hermit crab that kind of gets out of the way but man he is cool but we're getting low on air but I brought two tanks for today so I go in again looking for that yellow one and finally find him on day four but I'm getting low on air and again she is not moving but she does put on a little bit of a show she opens up her mouth and the frogfish can open up its mouth 12 times its size so that it can swallow prey crazy cool well still don't have them swimming so on to day five. Day five, yes, you guessed it, we are back in our spot here with the yellow frogfish. And man, she is out and about today. It looks like she is poised on this concrete structure, ready to go for a swim. Her pectoral fins are out in front. This is exciting. I can see the look in her eye. She is just looking at the water, sizing it up, deciding if she wants to go for a swim. And I know she can do it. I know it, I know it, I know it. And there she goes. She is up. Oh, I got to move the camera to keep up with her here. She's floating. She's kind of falling. She's crash landing, but hey, that's okay. Nobody's perfect. She made the swim. It was totally worth the wait. That was awesome. As she's swimming there, she's inhaling a lot of water and expelling it through holes behind her pectoral gills. Those are the little jets and I want to capture those on film, so let's see if she's going to do it again. After 13 minutes of sitting here resting, she starts walking again. And this is great. I can totally tell she wants to go for another swim, and I'm ready. I've got three cameras with me. I'm not going to miss this moment. And there she goes. She's off. She's back up in the water. Her mouth is opening. She's inhaling the water. She's pumping it through her pectoral gills, and it's pushing her forward. You can really see those pectoral gills working and moving. This is fantastic. She's floating down and comes to a much better landing than the first go around. That was, that was awesome. This was totally the money shot. I was looking for this for five days and six dives total. It was definitely worth it. Over six and a half hours underwater with the frogfish here. Absolutely incredible. But guys, definitely check out another one of our videos here at the end. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that bell notification so that you never miss a dive. Loved it. Thanks for joining us. And we will see you underwater on the next one.